Okay guys, today we're gonna take a look at the ICU Medical Life Care PCA. And this device is being a little bit of a pain in the ass. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. And uh, maybe you guys can help me out with the little problem that I'm having, all right? So this is the ICU Medical Life Care PCA. Not very fancy. Got a little uh, detector down here. Uh, first off, let's, let's go over the consumable. This is why it's goofy. This is the consumable. It is a glass empty syringe. I, I get that they're pre-filled with some drugs, but for a lot of things, you have to get these glass sterile syringes and fill them yourself. And um, a case of these guys right here is like $460. Uh, how crazy is that? You can see the needle is in the plunger and it comes separate, which uh, then you have to screw them together. You can see right there. So you screw them together. The needle pierces through the, the little diaphragm right here and you can administer your drugs. So now that you see uh, the obscure consumable, which does have a barcode, and because that barcode, my life this morning is miserable. This right here is falling over. <laughs> so this guy right here holds the vial and there's one pin right here, which is the vial detect. Right here is the barcode where it wants to tip over again. So in its uppermost position, uh, that's when it would activate and read the barcode. Down here is the plunger detect, this little tiny button on the back. It snaps in kind of vigorously. It doesn't feel good when you when you snap it in. It feels like it's gonna break. But the problem that I'm having on this particular pump is that it is not detecting the mechanism in the uppermost position. And I'm gonna show you why I'm confused. When we open up this guy, you can see we have a power supply. We have a communications interface board. And from what I was reading, there are three serial buses inside this machine. One of them is for communications to nurse call, etc. cetera. Um, one of them is to uh, Wi-Fi right here. And the third one is for this guy right here, the barcode scanner. So let's go over uh, some of the assemblies inside this guy. We have one super long board that goes top to bottom, which right here you can see the PCA lock, so you can lock it out, and you can open the door right here by pressing on this guy, which is the uh, release. And uh, this is your drive motor. Underneath, right here, we have a micro switch, and that one there is for the plunger detect, that little button. Right here, I have an optical interrupter, and it is surrounding. Let's see, it is surrounding this guy right here, which is the uh, gear reduction shaft for the worm drive. So, yep, right there. So, what happens is uh, you can see it's a half moon shape. So, as it rotates, it allows the light to pass, and it counts the uh, amount of revolutions, and that's how it knows how far it's gone. Um, let's see, what other micro switches do we have? So this micro switch right here would be the vial empty. So that is when this guy goes all the way down. It's your lower limit switch. Then it activates. You can see the pin assembly right here that goes to the vial detect micro switch. There you go. And this guy, which is super sensitive, you can see let me see if I can activate it. Very sensitive. This guy, I am going to assume, is the occlusion detect. So you can see right here, as it's pushing down, opposite forces, and I think that is going to activate this guy, and it's going to detect an occlusion. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like. That that's it's so sensitive. I think that is a calibrated occlusion detect micro switch. 
So guys, that is pretty much all the little uh, ins and outs of this board. And I do not see any possible way that it knows that this mechanism is in the uppermost area. There's no um, Hall effect sensors, which is probably how I would probably do it is a Hall effect sensor so it can see it's in the uppermost position. So the only thing that I can think is that it knows it's all the way up because of maybe a camera in the um, barcode scanner right there. I'm not really sure. All they say is if it fails, change out the mechanism, but when I went in here and I checked out the window, there was some scratches and some a little bit of contamination on the barcode scanner window. It did detect the barcode and it was able to read it, but is it looking for um, this right here, the window? I don't know, because that would make sense since it's all the way up. It's not um, reflecting any of the light back at the sensor. So maybe it's got like an infrared sensor and it's looking for a reflection or, or um, an obstruction right here. I don't know, guys. That's all that I can think of. Maybe I'll get a camera with an um, infrared sensor and take a look and see. But guys, that is a walkthrough of the ICU Medical Life Care PCA. And uh, this one right here is just being a little bit of a pain because during the syringe test, you do a syringe empty and then a uh, syringe test, which is when it's at the uppermost position. And this one here just isn't detecting when it's all the way up. The other machines do, um, but this particular one doesn't. I don't know why. Anyway, guys, um, that's my morning. Just trying to figure out what, what the heck's going on with this one. Let me know what you think. Be curious to see what the community thinks about this particular pump. I have dealt with lots of PCA pumps throughout my career, and this is my first time with the Life Care PCA. Don't see these very often.